Hello my friends, welcome to my channel. I have not yet figured out how to extract audio from my podcast, or if I were to make a YouTube video and then wanna turn it into a podcast, how to do that. So in the meantime, I'm recording a podcast and then YouTube video. Love that for me. Anyways, this is just a prop so that my hands don't get bored because I don't ever know what to do with my hands when I'm talking on camera because I'm still new at it. I'm still very uncomfortable with it. But here we are anyways doing it. I recorded a podcast today. If you don't know, now you know. I have a podcast. It's called Right Where You Need To Be. I started one maybe a year-ish, probably more than a year ago, and was not consistent with it. It was not the time for it. I spoke about it all on the podcast. It's called Welcome to the Pod. This time around, I feel super confident with it. It's still something that I'm like really new at, and it's still something that I'm like, mm. So it sound great, but I do feel very confident in my speaking abilities. I don't love my voice, but that's besides the point. I wanted to make this video and I wanted to talk about how to get yourself out of a negative mindset because I was talking to somebody today and they were just so deep into this negative headspace and it happens to everybody. It happens to the best of us, it happens to me too. How long you stay in the mindset though depends on your reaction. And what I mean by that is how conscious are you of the thoughts in your mind? Most of us are just letting our mind just go wild, run rampant, go crazy, do whatever it wants to do because it's strong, you know? And if we're not conscious of it, it can just lead us down this crazy path and we just are not well. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? I know you know what I'm talking about. So the first step is becoming conscious of the thoughts in your mind, right? And that is just being present. A lot of us go through our lives and just like go through the motions, right? We all have a routine and routine is really good for a lot of people. But if you get too into your routine, you're just going to like be tunnel vision down into your routine. And that's that. Like that's all you see. That's all you do. I have to do this at this time. This at this time. This at this time. And this at this time. And it's just like you're running on autopilot. You're not there for anything that you're doing. Like you're there, but you're not there, you know? I said in my podcast, you're living your life, but you're not living your life. You know, like you're doing life, doing life things, but you're not really living it because you're not there for it. So there's so many things that you can miss when you're not there for your life, when you're not present, when you're just letting the thoughts in your mind just go whoosh, 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 and spiral you and spiral you into this crazy space that's honestly probably not even valid most of the time. Today I talked with my friend about how one thought could trigger you and then it can just go and lead to all of these other thoughts. And of course, of course bad things happen and of course we have bad days. And I'm not saying to not feel those bad things and to not feel your emotions. You need to feel your emotions. You need to feel sad, you need to feel angry, you need to feel whatever you need to feel. I'm saying don't ruminate on them. Don't have like this pity party and don't let it go off the rails. Because you can feel this, this feeling and this feeling should be an isolated moment, right? Because not everything in your life is falling apart. It's just one thing that happened and it probably sucked. And you can feel shitty about it for a couple of days. Like, I'm not saying don't validate your feelings. Like definitely validate your feelings. It's definitely important, do that. <laughs> but don't take that incident and then just go, everything else sucks too. I hate it all, it all sucks. All it takes is like a couple of negative thoughts for your mind to be like, oh, is this what we're doing? Are, are we in a negative space? Because if you want to be in a negative space, I can definitely be in a negative space. We can, we can go there. And then if you just sit in that negative space and you don't talk to anybody about it and you don't try to get yourself out of it, you're not conscious of it. It's not even that you're not trying, you know? Most of the time, you're just not conscious of it. You don't know you're in this shitty headspace because you're just like wandering through your life, doing your routine, not being present. So if you're not conscious of what's happening in your mind, it can just take you somewhere. You're just gone and your mind did that. And you have control over your mind. Your mind is you. I mean, technically, you're not your body and you're not your mind, you're your soul, but your mind belongs to you, doesn't belong to anybody else. So you have control of it. You can tell it, this is not how I feel. And I need you to shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up. 
you know? So being present and trying to be conscious of the thoughts that are happening in your mind is numero uno. Numero dos is practicing gratitude. Practicing gratitude makes a world of difference. It literally changed my life. It changed my life. I was, I wasn't miserable, I would say. I wasn't stoked about life. But when I learned about practicing gratitude, even like the small things, like I do small things. I, I wake up every morning and I smile. That's how I wake up. And it feels so good to get all those nice, good chemicals going through your brain and your body. And then I'll be grateful that I have a cup of clean water. I'll be grateful that I have clean air. I'll be grateful that I can see the sun. I'll be grateful that I can see the colors of the earth. I'll be grateful that my legs work and I can stand up. I'll be grateful for literally anything. Anything in the morning, all day, anything all day, but in the morning to start. <laughs> can you tell this isn't scripted? That I take for granted, usually, I'll be grateful for. And then I try to recognize new things. So I'll go outside and maybe there's a new flower, or maybe there's a new mango, we have a mango tree outside. Maybe there's a new mango on the tree outside, or maybe there's a new stray cat. I love cats, <laughs> there's so many stray cats in this area and maybe I get to pet it. I don't know, these all sound really dumb, but it can be dumb things, you know? Whatever makes you get out of your head and makes you realize that life isn't boring. There's always something new, but if you're in this routine, you have to be conscious of making like a new exciting thing, right? If you don't have the privilege to go travel every weekend, or if you don't have the privilege to live freely, that's most people, that's fine, but you get to choose. Do I want to sit in misery and be upset that I don't have all this money and that I can't live freely and that I have to go to work every day um, and that my boyfriend just broke up with me and that my cat doesn't like me? I don't know. Whatever you're sitting in misery about. Do you want to sit there? Or, or maybe you want to just like be appreciative and grateful for all of the blessings that you have around you, you know? You have the choice to get yourself out of that negative mindset and maybe you're not ready for it. That's totally fine. Give yourself time and grace, but just start slowly implementing some of these things. Start being present, start being grateful, start being conscious of what's happening in your mind because we don't listen to it. There's so many things going on in it and it's so overwhelming and overstimulating but just listen to the big things and to be willing to adjust, to course correct, to say positive things when you don't feel like saying positive things. It'll literally change your life. And I wish <laughs> that I filmed this and then made it into a podcast because I feel like filming it, I'm much better. I don't know. I hope you guys like this. I hope that you can practice some of these things and implement them into your life because they are life-changing, full-on life-changing, tiny little things, life-changing. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you watch this, oh my god, I'm gonna cry. Also follow my podcast, although this video is much better than my podcast was. The podcast was really good. This video, I'm just like, you know. So I'm gonna learn how to extract audio. If you want to tell me how to extract audio, that would be great. Save me some time. Put them in the comments. Subscribe me like this if you liked it follow my podcast follow my instagram all my links are um up in my banner i'm not sure where it may be somewhere but it's up in my banner on my channel page <laughs> thank you guys for being here you could be anywhere on the internet and you're here and i'm so grateful for that and i love you Mwah. bye